Hello, my YouTube family and friends. I'm going to start out by saying that I do miss y'all these few days that I've been missing. <laughs> but wow, what a journey I have been on. <laughs> um, I've always been one to help others and kind of put myself on the back burner. So that's what's been going on. I can't even keep up with the days right now. I think today is Friday. So either Monday or Tuesday, my health started declining and I couldn't sit here anymore. And so what was going on, I was having trouble breathing. And when you have trouble breathing, sometimes it can hurt in through here it can hurt in your chest right here, or it can literally hurt in your back or the lungs are in the back. So I was experiencing all of it. We have an oxygen reader here at home. I watched my oxygen drop down to 87 and I couldn't sit here anymore. I had called my doctor asking would she call in me a Z-Pack in prednisone. <laughs> Earlier that morning, it was taking too long for the pharmacy to call, so I knew I couldn't sit here at home anymore. I had been taking breathing treatment after breathing treatment, puffing inhalers, that wasn't working, so I called the ambulance. Got to the hospital. Uh, my, I am also diabetic. My sugar was 593 <laughs> my a1c was 15 so they were in the emergency room more worried about my diabetes and i'm like hey that diabetes can wait i can't breathe get me on some oxygen some breathing treatments and some prednisone and they said well ma'am we can't put you on any steroids with your sugar being as high as it is so that was that I ended up getting admitted. Um, I was getting um, insulin shots around the clock. I was also getting something called a DKA drip. Um, and of course I was getting the saline. Um, I was also get, getting insulin shots if I didn't bring that up. I'm still a little bit medicated because I was also getting morphine every two hours and then Dilaudid every two hours. And so, yeah, um, I didn't stay in the emergency room long. I went from emergency room to observation to the, to the admitting floor. And um, they weren't feeding me. I love to eat. <laughs> anyway, they ended up getting my, um, my sugar down low enough for me to be able to come home and my oxygen to at least 95 for me to come home on medicine but yes i've been a diabetic i was on the pill a pill called genuvia for a couple years but they said um i have to come off the pill now i'll be on insulin the rest of my life i think i'm type 1 diabetic now <laughs> um i take one insulin three times a day and then one every night at nine o'clock that's a life changer right there. Um, but it's been other stuff going on in the background. This, this has not been a good year for us at all, at all. Um, and the reason why I had been trying to stay home and put myself on the back burner because I had been trying to make sure that my household was straight before I left. And unfortunately, the things that needed to be done didn't get done. And so today, <laughs> um, the car is one of the things. You have to have AC in this type of weather. Our AC quit working, um, had to have a radiator replaced, a fan replaced. Freon put in an oil change, power steering fluid, um, 
yeah and the AC still isn't working so next they were saying I needed an AC compressor so today I caught an uber to primary care and I had mom go somewhere <laughs> to get an AC compressor long story short Mom calls me while I'm at the doctor and says, I'm stranded and I need your help. And holy crap, Oscar is cutting the TV on. I wish y'all could see this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so mom was stranded. So after I left my doctor's appointment, I had to catch an Uber to where mom was. She didn't tell me what was wrong. So I got to where she was. I said, Mom, what's wrong? She said, she, uh, she said the car is smoking <laughs> really, really bad. Oscar, are you serious, dude? So, um, that was that. I'm talking about the car was smoking really bad. But I also noticed that there was this trail of liquid that Mom had left. Yes, and she said that when she was out there, that the, the the gas was on full. But she noticed by the time that she landed where she got there, she was stranded, the car was empty. And I said, are we leaking gas? So I got down there on the ground. I couldn't smell no gas. I put my finger in the liquid, smelled it. It didn't smell like gas, but me not being a car person i really don't know so um we sat there we let the car cool down for about 30 minutes and and that was the thing the car wasn't even running hot oh, so um we made it home and we had to sit we had to sit at the top of the hill for another 30 minutes and we had to leave the car there that's how bad it was smoking and then um I had to piggyback mom all the way home, like literally have her have her on my back coming coming home. And um so yes, I'm exhausted. Um I haven't had time to rest since I've been at home. I see a lot of people have called and reached out and sent text messages. Um I still need time to rest, but in the in the background, oh, yes, I am sweet. still trying to get the car fixed because sweet, nobody sweet. can ride around without air conditioner in their car. And plus, we got to figure out where this leak is coming from or what kind of leak it is. And long story short, a female doesn't know too much about cars. A female knows how to put the car in drive and go. That's, a, that's about it. Um, I'm thinking my next man in, in line will be a man that's a jack of all trades. So if you're out there, make yourself known in the comments. I am a single woman. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I'm home for those of y'all that knew that I wasn't. I'm okay. I'm still in a little bit of pain, still having a little trouble breathing. Um, Got to get adjusted to the new medications that I will be on. And I feel like I need a, a week break to rest. But I know, I know once my body is rested, I'll probably be back on YouTube. But it won't be any long videos. Probably it'll just probably be some shorts because I do have some long videos coming up. If you watch that video titled, um, why not to move to Atlanta? I have some more videos coming in behind that. Please just give me a chance to get them out because I want them to come out at perfect timing because it's a lot of other information that's came up after I did that video that I think everybody should be aware of. And um, as y'all know, I always say, I think it's a good okay. thing for us to share information amongst each others and get the word out there to help look out for somebody. And that's another thing my friends always ask me since I was a little girl, how can you just walk up to somebody and just start talking to them? I've always been a people person and I enjoy doing it. And 
I have friends that aren't people, people persons. So me being a people person, I might get out here and start up a conversation with you. I have some information for you. And then you, you talk back and give me some information. And that's just how my life has been set up. So I do have some good stuff coming up. Just give me time to get back 100. Thank you to everybody that's called, messaged, left a text, voicemail, whatever. Know that I have seen it. Something is also going on with my phone to where it's not ringing. I have my daughter try to fix it tomorrow. And um, to the lose, I hope everybody has some good rest. And I'll be back once I'm rested.